so okay so history i mean i remember from years ago when you know i stayed with you in michigan and you just were sort of like you know the lake gets my hair clean <laughs> like you know you Such don't a wash your hippie. hair all yeah i don't think you wash your hair like all summer or something um, uh gosh and, and to my surprise perhaps not much has changed <laughs> Unless, I mean, I don't have a lake now, so right. I don't have like the natural exfoliation of the sand and yeah. the natural cleaning of my hair. Yeah, but mm. it, no, it was fascinating. I guess it was just a couple of years ago um, you were telling me about how you don't need to wash your hair very yeah. often. Like it's a thing. Yes, it is a whole so, thing. Do you want to share about this? Well, when you visited me in Michigan <laughs> and I was in that awesome apartment mm -hmm. near the lake, at that point, I believe I had gotten myself to uh, a solid week or more of consistently not washing my hair. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the summer is just different because I do feel like going in Lake Michigan <laughs> Then having it air dry and then always having it up because it's hot, just didn't have to wash it as often. But that process of getting to a week or 10 days without washing my hair did not happen overnight. Mm -hmm. And I started it when I lived in Binghamton and I was going, because I think I washed my hair every day for a lot, like a long time. Mm -hmm. And after I ran the Chicago marathon, for some reason, I got it in my head that I was going to wash my hair every other day. Mm -hmm. And then maybe I did it every third day. And it was definitely like, I had to plan mm -hmm. because, you know, it just would get like oily and right. heavy and I felt like it smelled bad or, yeah. so I wouldn't have to, the first day it was done, it could be just straight. And then the next day I would curl it. And then the next day I'd have to have like a ponytail, but then okay. I have to wash it. Right. And when it really kind of changed from that two to three days was when I was going through my divorce and I was like all over the place mentally. My stuff was all over the place. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't know what was going and, and it was um, specifically Thanksgiving. Cause I remember my mom <laughs> being like, um, <laughs> I need you to wash your hair. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I know, it's, I know it's a hard time right now, but I really need you to wash your hair. Okay. Was it the look or the smell perhaps? You know, or I don't like, know what, what exact, I think it probably was the look. Yeah. And, and she just said like, which is true. She's like, you're going to just feel better if you like yeah. go and like wash your hair. Right. Like, okay. Definitely. But at that point, I think I had gone 10 days and that was like oh. accidental. That was just mm -hmm. because I was trying to survive. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so that's when that kind of started. And I just stuck with that because it worked. And when I started being able to go even longer was when I switched to using products that are really completely toxin free and they actually removed all of the buildup. So regular conditioner, shampoo, it will always leave a coating on each individual hair. Um, and now I haven't had that on my hair for eight years. I'd also discovered that if I got a big paddle brush with boar's bris forehead, boar's bristle, I don't know how to say that. Mm -hmm. And I ha also has little plastic bristles with little nubbins on the top. And I'll brush my hair every day and really get down to the scalp. Okay. And so that's helping, like you said, distribute the oil, mm -hmm. um, but it's also stimulating my scalp. Mm -hmm. And I learned that you need to be like combing out your brush or raking mm -hmm. out your brush daily. And then when I do wash my hair, I actually wash the brush too. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting all that environmental buildup. Yeah. I'm trying to get rid of that constantly. Um, I go and get my hair done and she always says your hair's the healthiest that I have mm. come to see me. Wow. 
um, my scalp is so much better than it used to be. I had like psoriasis around the edges. Like I would get scabs and they were itchy and then it was fun to pick them and then they would bleed and then they would get more itchy and they would get more scabby, which is a cycle. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, and now I have this tincture stuff that's scalp treatment. It's basically, Mm -hmm. it's called super greens. So, and it's from a line called super greens, which essentially is like a smoothie, a green smoothie for your Mm -hmm. hair. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Uh, and that really, um, has helped. Like if I get anxious, I can still get some of that itchy little spots, Mm -hmm. but I think I must've been slightly allergic to stuff and with anxiety, it just kind of would pop up and flare up. Um, now I have a history growing up. I have thick hair and I couldn't get the soap out of my hair when I was younger. So it would just, I'd wash it and then it would Mm. like look dirty Mm. because it would still have buildup. Mm -hmm. So my mom would like make me put my head over the, in the sink in the kitchen and she'd wash my hair and like Mm. pull until she could like hear the squeak. Wow. Cause it was always like, I got to get more water pressure for my hair. Yeah. Um, so now I do my best to brush it daily and I use the scalp treatment. And when I do wash my hair, I use a charcoal detox shampoo first. And then I use a regular shampoo or a super greens shampoo. So I know people are like, oh my gosh, you wash your hair twice. Yes. When you go to the salon, they almost always wash it twice (laughs) because the first time you're like getting the environmental yuck off Mm -hmm. of it. And the second time you can like get in there and like get down to the scalp. And then I use just a regular conditioner just on the ends. Um, Sometimes I'll feel like it's getting drier because it's the desert out here in Denver. Mm -hmm. And I'll put a hair mask on Mm -hmm. for like a few hours before I take a shower. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how often are you washing? So I used to keep track. (laughs) I don't know why, because I'm a nerd. I think the last time I washed my hair was right before I went to San Diego. So like a month? Uh Uh-huh. And I'm going to go to San Diego on Sunday. Oh, really? I'll probably wash my hair. Yes. Oh, wow. Baby Edda needs a little bit more um, sleep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be there Sunday to Wednesday. Okay. But yeah, I think I still go about a month. And right now I'm feeling like, Ugh. yeah, I'm okay, starting so starting to feel gross. A month, and you use what's that sharp charcoal shampoo? A charcoal detox shampoo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you want to say which one? Do you know? Um, it's by Pure Haven. Okay. And then, um, and we can put links if you want. Yeah, you know? I can put a link to the, yeah. like what I use and I can even write out a little mm-hmm. description. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if, so I've been using this particular product line for eight years and my, it suds a ton for, it foams up a ton mm-hmm. for me, but because it doesn't have the foaming agents and, you know, a lot of the other things that are in most things that you would get in the store, often people, the first time they use it, they're like, Oh, what do I like? It didn't foam at all. Oh, wow. Well, and that's partly because there's years worth of buildup on each strand of hair that right. it's going to just take time to end patience. So when nice. people want to switch, I kind of have to like coach them for a couple of weeks because mm-hmm. it's not the same kind of shampoo world. Mm -hmm. Um, I know friends that really like bar shampoos. Mm. I haven't tried any of those yet. I tried one. One of my clients did you like this thing? I hated the smell. Oh. It was just a thing that like I ordered off the internet. It TikTok so maybe by sketchy it. when you I say know. that. No, this was way before this was the before TikTok even existed, I think. <laughs> but um it was just uh yeah, she had loved this or and she said it was like they have this line that will turn your gray hair back to its color again. Oh wow. 
and all these people are like raving about it. So I was like, well, yeah. it's worth a shot, you know? Heck yeah. <laughs> I couldn't stand the like perfumey smell. Oh no. It was awful. So yeah. I kind of threw it away. That's, that's no bueno. Yeah. And I was like, I have to be more careful about <laughs> ordering the, stupid the things shit. I buy on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. I have a couple tubes of this hyaluronic acid, uh, plumping lip gloss mm-hmm. stuff. Cause I bought it on an impulse when yeah. I was like stretching at the gym. That What's was wrong with it. Sounds <laughs> nothing. Good. It's just like, it's not something like I would use all the time. Uh, and I got three tubes, <laughs> two clear and one like matte. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it, it was a whole process, but I do think in my stylist who I've gone to now for five years agrees that the product line has allowed my hair to like, just remain really healthy. Mm-hmm. Oh, in addition to, I just don't style it that often. Yeah. You know? Okay. So you use the pure Haven charcoal shampoo and then the what is that greens thing again? It's called super greens, super greens mm-hmm. and smoothie, hair smoothie. <laughs> it's not called a hair smoothie, oh. although it probably should be. If I were marketing, I'd call it a hair like smoothie. I've heard of a hair smoothie before. I probably. What is it called? It's just called the super greens shampoo. And then there's a super greens deep conditioner. I cannot uh-huh. use that. It's oh. like way too much. Oh, so use two different shampoos. Yeah. Okay. But that's because I've figured out kind of what, what my hair really likes. Yeah. And then the thing that you use for your dry spots that every that's day the, after you brush your hair, right? Which yep. is what? That is called the super greens scalp treatment. Oh, okay. And it's like a little tincture with a little mm-hmm. dropper that you, mm-hmm. oh, it feels so cooling. <laughs> I love it. It's cool. But a yeah. big a thing is really cleaning your brush regularly. Mm. Now, when you have curly hair, I don't know when you brush your, like, no, I never do, you do that. It. Like when it's wet, I wouldn't, I won't. I do like, I'm, I'll run my, just run my fingers through it, but yeah. Would you brush I, it, you be know, able to brush it before you wash it? You can. Okay. I, I, it, I used to do that a long time ago. Yeah. Um, but I found like when you use conditioner or whatever, it just like takes all the tangles out so (laughs) there's no need to brush it I guess Mm -hmm. um yeah so I typically I've been washing my hair every other day but the on the off days I'll just like massage my scalp a little because it just feels wrong not to wash it yeah you know well it's really Um, good to get that circulation mm -hmm. and that's part of the the reason for brushing um Mm -hmm. is to really get the scalp and get the movement okay. around the follicles and yeah, yeah it's important even know. if you're just massaging that's yeah you got to get in there <laughs> I think it doesn't usually look as good on the days when I'm not shampooing so I'm like well, I don't know what the answer is though because if I shampoo too much I don't think that's have you good, used a dry but... shampoo no I I haven't mm-hmm. so I I use an, a dry shampoo sometimes okay. it's a powder yeah. And it's like, I'm not even going to remember what's, what kind of powder, uh, it does blend in really well and gives a lot of volume, but it's yeah. not, it's, it's white. Yeah. <laughs> so I they feel like I've told ones, people, but, yeah, like just yeah. put cocoa powder with it Oh wow! to like help make it a little darker. I have used the kind that are aerosol. Um, oh, okay. I mean, I wouldn't use that now just because I'm non-toxic and yeah but I've used it in the past and I felt that it worked really well and gave a lot of good volume so there's that line of like 80 20 right like yeah. you can only do yeah. so much non-toxic <laughs> I just don't know if I can go to shampooing less frequently um, I know I could take off the buildup, I used to do like a vinegar rinse, mm. you know, or you just like do that some affect your curls? apple cider vinegar or something. No, I don't no. think so. No, just kind of dilute that and like rinse and that, I guess it's clarifying or whatever. Oh yeah, that would make me gag too. 
I, I really like apple cider vinegar for like the process, like what it does, but it? I smelling okay. it like, Oh, weird. If I had that much near my head, huh. it'd be like getting your hair dyed. And when they're taking out the foils and you're a little I've too close to the had like that kind I've only had oh. the, what do they call it? A shine or something? That's the wrong word. A glaze? A glaze. Yeah. Okay. I only see yeah. a glaze because I, yeah, I don't want to get roots. <laughs> I get highlights. Okay. Because I yeah. guess I'm just, I remember the day well, I decided to get highlights. Hair. I was mm. like, wow, I'm never going back. Mm. Apparently I'm going to do this for the rest of my life. <laughs> Oh, your hair looks very nice. <laughs> Thank you. I should also say I do not get it wet. So some people, what? when they find out that I don't wash my hair for that long, they're like, do you, oh, like when you, you get in the shower, do you just get it wet? Oh, right, right. That's an important point yeah. of clarification. Yeah. So you don't even, okay. So you I just, just put it up like on it. Okay. So let's say you get home from the gym and your head's all sweaty, your hair's all sweaty. You just brush it then like right away or you wait for it to dry? Um, I'll probably, I would wait for it to dry. Mm -hmm. I love the like big claw clips and I just kind of like plop it up there. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I do wash my hair, I usually let it air dry. So I put it in like a turban mm -hmm. and help hopefully like most of the moisture kind of like gets wicked out, but mm -hmm. I don't brush it until it's actually dry. Okay. I'm not really sure why. I think it's just become a habit because mm -hmm. when I get my hair done, they brush it out when it's wet. Yeah. I think I just don't have the um, energy sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I when know, yeah, I think they've read like probably back in the eighties or something that you're not <laughs> supposed to brush it when it's wet. Like you can comb it, but yeah, not... right. I know. Like That's what I heard too. Or something. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to have breakage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All these like hilarious little funny terms that we, yeah. oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, but I, before the pandemic, I would, I was spoiling myself and I would get my hair washed at blow hmm. once a month. Wow. You also get champagne while you're sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. I have my favorite lady, um, at blow in cherry Hills. She's fantastic. She makes my hair look so good Wow! because it's all zhuzhed. Mm -hmm. And when, when it's done like that, it like lasts even longer. Like it looks better from even longer. Yeah. But I have, I stopped going cause come on. That's like ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> but I started doing cost? that. I started doing it in LA actually. So yeah. my friend Johara, she is uh, half Peruvian and half. Saudi and she had so much hair mm. like her ponytail must have been three inches in diameter <laughs> and she found this place that had just opened near her house called the U I think it actually had like a whole name but it was just a giant oh, U okay. and you could get your hair washed for $15 okay and then she was really and good at blowing it out so we would go over there and they would just wash our hair mm. So we go home with towels on our heads. <laughs> and then when I lived in Spring Lake um, and I was doing all the infertility stuff, I don't know, it just like occurred to me one day, oh, there's a French Academy of cosmetology in town. <laughs> I should go and see how much they would charge to yeah. like practice. Yeah. And then it was only $10 mm. and they wanted me to come back as much as possible because they needed to practice on thick hair people. <laughs> <laughs> so I would be like, um, you need to no, you can stop. Just, you need to like really get in there more, like lift up the hair. I was teaching them. Like, <laughs> you really want to get in there. You're not hurting me. Interesting. I really want to go get my hair washed now. Yeah. I, I, it is fun to have like really long hair. Yeah. I've had nightmares where I got my hair cut and I didn't realize it. Oh, wow. So that's probably like anxiety, right? <laughs> I guess so. I oh my gosh, my hair is gone. <laughs> yeah. But I work so hard. Like when I lived in Binghamton, I was growing my hair out because I'm pretty sure when I lived in LA, it was oh, short. Yeah, you did have, I think you had like a little bob for a while, right? Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. And part of that was because when, um, before I got married in to Brad in 2002, I had, that was like prime vegan time mm-hmm. and prime over exercising. Yeah. And your hair probably maybe being a fruitarian, um, it fell out in huge wow. clumps, mm-hmm. huge, huge, huge clumps. So I ended up getting it cut really short because I had so much regrowth all over. Um, and then I just kind of kept it like, did you have like a little, like, uh, even shorter, like, um, Julie Andrews and the sound of music. Um, at one point in college, I I might've cut my own hair (laughs) and it was basically like a half inch to an inch everywhere. Like (laughs) I cut it that short. Mm -hmm. And I then I that. tried to dye, I tried to dye it platinum and it oh, um, wow. turned out like brass. Mm-hmm. I've done that method where you put your hair in a ponytail on top of your head and oh. cut it and like, you're like, oh, layers. <laughs> Did it work? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, can't remember what you had to do after that. If there was like another step. Yeah. I can't remember, but you know, that was probably the very early nineties. And that kind of no, reminds probably... me of the Floby. Do you remember the Floby? Yeah. My friend, I never knew anybody that ever had one of these. No, things. I don't think I did either. My friend from college had a huh. freaking Floby. <laughs> so that must've been something somebody ordered online. Yeah. I mean, not like in the internet, that must've been like right. As an infomercial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So funny. Yeah. Okay. When John and I were first dating, he you know, he doesn't say like a ton of words and this is, he had a flip phone. I'm really dating myself now. So text messages were not like really long. Mm-hmm. And one night he was like, I'm going to ask you to do something that you maybe haven't done before. This so is like, Oh God. Okay. And I'm trying to like figure out what it is. And at some point he's like, we might get a little wet. I'm like, what is going on? I'm so scared. He's going to ask me to do something really gross. And he (laughs) wanted me to give him a haircut. Oh, okay. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I was like really relieved. Yeah. And he was like, no, I want you to cut my hair. Okay, good. 